Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's look now at the linear light blend mode. So just as a reminder that uh, with blend modes we have a layer at the underneath which is the base layer and the layer on top which is the blend layer and we apply a formula, the blend formula, which is in this case linear light and that gives us what we actually see. The uh, linear light blend mode is the fifth in the contrast group and it makes use of the linear burn and the linear dodge which is also called including in Affinity Photo Add. The formula looks like this, don't worry about it because I'm going to go through this in the calculations video which if you're not into that sort of thing you can easily skip. But by and large it says if it's lighter use the linear dodge or add blend mode. If it's darker, use the linear burn. So in other words, that's what this is doing here. If the pixel on the, on the RGB in that in the top layer is greater than 0.5 and it goes from 0, which is black, to 1, which is white. So in other words, on the lighter side, then you're using the linear dodge, otherwise the linear burn, which gives you more extreme turning up lightness and turning it down. So we'll come back to this later. So let's actually play with it now. So let's start off with some uh, blend and base here. So what I've got here is the base goes from effectively zero to one here, black to white. So like in the X direction. And the blend layer goes from zero to one here, which is the black to white in this direction. So let's what happened. Let's just see what happens when we look at the blend modes here in this contrast group. So overlay, you've got a sort of a smooth blendy effect. Soft light is a muted form of that, unsurprising. Hard light is it kind of inverted. But when we get to vivid light, suddenly it's very different. And when we go to linear light, that looks pretty similar. So you say, hey, those two, you've got this kind of band down the middle there. And kind of a, so there's a range, there's a limited range with the transition, otherwise it's being pushed all the one way or the, the other way. Then you look, think, well, it looks like vivid light and linear light could be the same, almost the same. And they are sometimes, but not always. So let's have a look at this in a picture. If I take this picture here and hit Control J to duplicate it, then if I go down the blend modes kind of again, then you've got overlay. You can see even you, the moment you start, you see the reds being coming out a lot more. Soft light more muted. Hard light's the same overlay. Then you get to vivid light, a lot harder uh, color enhancement on this. And linear light, even more so. But in, so in straight duplication, this is what it looks like. However, if I take this top layer here and hit Control i and invert it, now if I go to those blend modes and I can go down them there, overlay, you get kind of a muted, uh, almost pastel effect. And you come down here, hard light, you don't see anything here that stays like it. But vivid light, this is where it goes completely grey except for the pixels where the, the red, green or blue are sort of all one end or all at the other end. And linear light, it's a bit like hard light there, so that's hard light. This is linear light. It's the much of the negative la layer, the top layer, is the same. So not always the same. Then if we just try painting on this now, I'm actually going to use the paintbrush here. And I'm going to use blend modes over here. So this is on vivid light. So I'm going to go, go to a color here. What can I take? OK, let's take this color here. So I've got red here and let's put that, that a little bit more. So we've got kind of a pink color in here in the brush. And if I paint sort of just as like a strip down here with vivid light, you can see what it's doing is it's, it's tinting it. Yeah. So now if I go to the linear, linear light, so when we're looking at and paint that down there, you can see now it's got a stronger effect. It's still tinting, but it's stronger than vivid light. So now let's just try this over here and notice the difference. 
So now I've got here, I'm painting in linear light, so I paint a tape strip down here. And see it's tinted everything here, including the building. Now if I change this to vivid light and paint down here, notice what happened, you're still getting tinting happening, but look here, here it's painted, tinted the colours here, but here it hasn't affected it. And this is because in the vivid light those blacks and whites are preserved, but in the uh, linear light they're not, which means if you're going to tint with linear light then you're going to tint the blacks and whites as well. See for example down here, look at the, the effect on the shadows, much stronger in there. Anyway, let's just go back to here, just a key point summary. Then the linear light increases contrast, it uses linear burn and linear dodge. Middle grey is invisible, uh, which is like the uh, other uh, contrast blend modes. Um, it's sometimes like vivid light, but not always, and sometimes radically different. And it affects all colours and tones, not like vivid light where blacks and whites get preserved. And it's typically used then for increasing contrast, for tinting, and also for sharpening. And we'll see that in one of the examples in the next video. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.